In this video, I'm going to go over DRS or drag reduction system, what it is and how racing sims use it. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Troy Uyon and welcome to my sim racing guide about DRS. The drag reduction system was first introduced by Formula One in 2011 and has since been added to other championships such as DTM. The basic idea is that the upper plane of the rear wing is movable so that an arrow slot will open up. Straightening out the upper plane like this reduces the arrow drag on the car and increases straight line speed. This is referred to as things like activating DRS or opening the rear wing. So why? Why is this a thing? Well, it was added to the cars to help overtaking. Passing in Formula 1 cars is really hard because the high downforce levels wash away the front end grip of the cars behind. Essentially, because these kinds of cars use the air so much, if two cars are chasing each other, the trailing car is doing so in disturbed air. So the aerodynamics on the second car are not working anywhere near as well. Simulators simulate this really, really well with Formula cars. So yeah, it's hard to pass in high downforce open wheel cars in the middle of a race because you just can't stick with them through the corners. So the best opportunity to pass is down a long straightaway with the slipstream. But this can still provide lots of challenges if the other car is really good on the brakes, he could still outbreak around the outside, you know, not even really needing to defend. Or if the lead car is running lower downforce levels, even with the toe, you won't be able to get significant enough position going into the next corner. With a Formula 1 car, DRS increases the straight line speed by about 15 kilometers per hour, or around 8 miles per hour. This makes it a lot easier for the following car to attack down the straights and either pass before the braking zone, or just get enough track position to challenge into the next corner. So if it's such a big advantage, why doesn't the leading car just open up their DRS as well? Well, I'm glad you asked. When DRS was added to Formula 1, so were a couple of elements to all of the tracks. The DRS detection zone and the DRS activation zone. Remember I said that DRS was added to encourage overtaking? That being the case, only a car trying to overtake should be allowed to use it. Otherwise, yeah, the leading car could just use it to defend, basically, and nullify the advantage. So that's where the DRS detection zone comes in. The detection zone will be a line across the track a little before the activation zone. And the activation zone will be a long straight where it is safe for the cars to open DRS and race with it. What happens is every time any car hits the detection line, a little clock starts. And if any other car crosses the line within one second of the first car, that second car gets a notification that they can use DRS in the upcoming activation zone. In short, you must be within one second of the car ahead at the detection point to be able to use DRS. This is referred to as the DRS range. All of this timing, activation, and policing is done electronically as the cars are all connected to an automated race control system. Thing to note here is I use the phrase any car, and what I mean by that is it's not necessarily a car you are racing for position. The race leader can get DRS off of a lap car, for example, which seems a bit weird, but there you go. As well as, if there are three cars, let's say, in a close battle, the latter two cars both will get DRS, while the first of the three cars does not, because he's not within one second behind anybody. You see how this works? The final note here is, since a lot of rear downforce is missing from the car when DRS is open, you cannot corner with DRS open. And to prevent this from ever happening, hitting the brakes closes the DRS instantly immediately putting downforce back to the rear of the car to help with braking, and then ultimately provide the aero stability again through the next corner. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that overview of DRS. Let me know in the comments below what you thought, and stay tuned for a second video going over some tips and tricks for getting the most out of DRS in your sim racing events. Thanks for watching.